Hey guys and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be talking about 5 things that will break on your Lexus RX so stay tuned for this video So the first thing I'm going to point out is the unfortunate this interior and it's going to be with the CD changer the six disc changer has been known to break throughout uh, Toyota and Lexus models and it's no exception in the fact this particular car uh, will allow you to load CDs but they just get jammed in there and won't play them so that seems to be an unfortunate problem I has had went to a shop once before to get fixed and it's not resolved the issue so Unfortunately, that's going to be number one in the list. Number two, things are going to break is going to be the O2 sensors. Again, a common fault with Lexus in general. My S250 and SCs even had O2 sensor issues, and the RX is no exception. So make sure you get that checked out. Uh, I think it's a PO125 code, something like that. We'll double check. Uh, but yeah, that's what you're going to be looking out for. It's going to break in the car. Number three of things that are going to break on your Lexus RX are exterior trim pieces that have been known to go, especially around the free, rear three quarter panel of the car, the kind of C pillar. I'll show you a picture of that and in this particular car as well, the trim pieces fell off. It seems to be a build quality issue, a known issue for the Mark II Lexus RX. And number four is going to be the rear hatch. The boot in this car, or the rear hatch and trunk, depends if you're in the States watching this. It's also had no issues. This particular car is still starting to show <laughs> signs of this issue with regards to you hold the unlock button and it'll think about popping up a little beep and it won't actually open up and you have to pull it manually. It closes fine but it just seems to have an issue uh, opening up. And number five, in this particular car it's actually been replaced and it's to do with the suspension so you've got the bushes and arms and these were replaced in this particular car January of 2020 so we're been filming this in July now so it's about seven months ago now. Uh, this car's done about 92,000 miles. So not too much, I think it's just a wear and tear thing, but also due to the size and weight of the car, the age of the car, that's going to be something that's going to be a consumable, so just make sure you're checking that out for any knocking. Uh, but that's going to be the fifth thing on this Lexus RX that's broken, and obviously look out for a your RX. So thanks very much for watching this video on the Lexus RX, this is the Mark II Lexus RX you've been watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel below if you're a Lexus lover, enthusiast or even an owner, really appreciate it that this channel's for you, and check out my other videos, I've got plenty of other Lexuses from the SC430, we've got the IS250 and other newer models at the LC500 etc. So stay tuned for the next video and thanks for watching, ciao!